No doubt, check bounce case has a remedy already in a special court. But along with the check bounce case, can you file a criminal complaint before the police station or not? And the answer is yes. You can simultaneously maintain a criminal complaint against the offender who failed to honor his check. And at the same time, you can maintain a complaint in the special courts designated to deal with check bounce cases. The ground that you have to show for maintaining a police complaint in a check bounce case along with the check bounce case is that at the time of issuing the check you have to convince the police that the issuer of the check has a criminal mind to bounce the check if you could prove that if you could write that and reduce it into writing in your complaint then your complaint becomes a cognizable offense which can be registered before the police station for registration of the crime the basic element which is required is the intention the criminal intention which is called mens rea in the criminal uh, legal language it's called the mens rea that is the intention of crime should originate in the mind before the actual commission of the act so if that point can be proved in your complaint that the the issuer of the check has a criminal intent to bounce the check because generally there will be a huge time period for uh, check bounce cases generally post dated checks are given and the check gets bounced in the illustration which i am taking right now it should be immediate like he gives a check with the today's date and it gets bounced then the intention is very clear because if the check is given for one month or after two months let us assume it is a post dated check it is given for after one month or two months there could not be an allegation for intention criminal intention because nobody could predict what will happen after one month or two months or after one year or two years in that circumstances you cannot maintain a criminal complaint before the police but when he is giving the check on the same day he is very much aware that there is no amount in the bank and he gives a check just to escape from the responsibility at that point of time and in such an event you can simultaneously maintain a criminal complaint along with the check bounce complaint and both should be filed at once this is the law that was settled you can't delay the check bounce case and uh, you can just proceed with the police complaint you have to file the police complaint before the police station and you should simultaneously file the check bounce case before the check bounce court a special designated court so both should happen at once because it's a criminal intention you came to know immediately you are going to report it immediately so in a check bounce case if you could establish that there is a criminal intention which was known prior to the issue of the check that the check is going to be bounced and if he issues the check on that ground then you can file a criminal case against him